Hey guys, we're at the Dolphini residence today and I wanted to focus on the Pakistan mulberry uh, tree today. And I have William here to help me taste test. <clears throat> um, so these trees, this is planted about three years ago now, three, three and a half years ago. Yeah, it was about three and a half because I planted it in the fall. Um, it's about 12 feet tall. Uh, they have really neat big leaves on them. So it's a really nice tree. Um, they do have uh, pretty aggressive roots, so you don't want to plant them too close to a building or anything, but uh, at least, you know, 12 to 15 feet away, I would say. Uh, this is in the back of our yard in our orchard, and uh, the mulberries are coming in um, quite a bit right now. They start uh, ripening, um, and when they do, they just go very quickly. So um, I want to show you a couple mulberries here. I'm going to grab this one here. So this is kind of what they look like. Very big. This is the the largest berry of the mulberries that I know of. So, all right, William, I'm gonna have you try it. So taste test it. Let us know what it tastes like. He's had these before and he usually really likes them. It's good. It's good. Is it very sweet? Ten out of ten. Nice. All right, let's see if we can grab one more. Uh, they do vary in size, but there's a lot of really big ones here. There's green ones everywhere. Yeah, and there's and there's a lot of green ones, which like which ones. so they'll plump up like literally within a couple hours of each other. There you go. Try that. So you can eat the stem or you cannot eat the stem. It depends on your preference, but the stems are definitely edible. And um, for me, they taste. Very sweet, uh, just like very sugary. Um, they're very good. And as you can see with the purple color, they're obviously very healthy for you. Um, kind of like the same type of things that are in, you know, a blueberry or a blackberry. So um, very healthy. As you can see, I'm getting berries way up here. So, and we're gonna walk over to the other mulberry that I have that's a little bit younger just to show you. Um, I purchased this on Etsy as a cutting, as a very small cutting uh, two years ago, and it's already catching up a lot. So, um, as you can see, it's very bushy. Let's see, do you see any berries in there? How about go in there, William, right in here? Or right in there, right here? Look at this one. You find a good one? Oh, yeah, pull that one. Put it on your hand so people can see how big it really is. It's a big berry. All right, kids taste like it. Two black ones. Yeah. How's that one? Good. Very good. Does it taste about the same as the other one? It's like a little different. A little different. So. As you can see, there's berries everywhere on here that are green. And uh, when you see them start plumping up, they'll turn completely purple like in half a day, 12 hours. So they ripen quickly, they come hard. And uh, your only job is to make sure you get them before the birds do. So we're out here a couple times a day picking the, the berries. So overall, William, would you say that the uh, mulberry is worth growing? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, if you guys it's have any. Better than grapes. Better than grapes? Yes. Nice. And it's organic and grows in your backyard. So that's cool. All right. Um, so if you guys have any questions, post them below. This is the Pakistan mulberry tree. Thank you.